Christina Marie. Well, with our economy in the toilet, it's no better time to bring our next guest to you tonight. Tonight we have Broke Ass Stewart with us, Stuart Shuffman. Hi, Stuart. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Thanks for having me on your show. Excellent. So, uh, Stuart has written a couple books. The first book, which was Broke Ass Stewart. What's the title of that? It's a long book? one. It's a Broke Ass Stewart's Guide to Living Cheaply in San Francisco. Okay. And the uh, the other one is uh, same title, Broke Ass Stewart. Yada yada yada. Uh, New York City. Ah, very good. Is it is it possible to live cheaply in San Francisco? San Francisco? I can't even say. Yeah, it. if you say it right, it is. Um, <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, it's definitely possible. I mean, I've been doing it for years. Most people I know have. So is this now? I'm sure when you were a kid, you didn't think, you know, what I want to do when I grow up? I want to write a book on how to get by and no money in San Francisco. When were you frugal as a kid? Um, no. I mean, I don't know. I, I mean, I wasn't like. I wasn't, I've never been good with money, so I mean, I'm still not frugal, I'm just broke. I mean, okay. <laughs> it's like, oh, I have it, I'll spend it. I just don't generally have it, so I don't spend it. Mm -hmm. So as sense? a kid, you weren't like saving your money or trying to find the best, but I bet you got like the best deals on candy and stuff like that. Were you looking out for that? My friends are candy dealers, I got the taste of everything. Um, no, nice, um, nice. Uh, yeah, yeah, I um, would always be looking out for good stuff because it was fun, you know. It's all, I've always been an explorer, you mm -hmm. know, so I was always found cool, neat little things all around and... It's kind of played into it, you know? Uh-huh. Where'd you grow up? I grew up in San Diego, California. Ah, kickback San Diego. Yeah. Very cool. And uh, so how did you make your way to San Francisco? I went to college in Santa Cruz, and uh -huh. so it was kind of like the next logical step. Okay, was... just working your way up the coast. Yeah. Okay. Very. And when you landed in San Francisco, how long ago was that? Um, I've been here on and off since 2002. Okay. A lot of on, a lot of off. Uh-huh. Um, you know, I, I mean, I've done a lot of traveling, so, I mean, I spent my, my, uh, senior year of college between here and Santa Cruz, and then I was here for a while, and then did in the past few years I've been traveling around the world, kind of living out of a bag, but now I'm back here for a while, and so, yeah, a lot of, a lot of on, a lot of off. And, uh, and so why did you decide to write the book? I mean, were you finding that a lot of people were spending too much and you could find better deals or something like that? Well, no, I mean, everybody I knew was just a broke ass. I mean, it started off as a zine. Like, I made this little, like, pamphlet -y thingy, what we call zines, okay. um, at, like, a copy store. And it was, like, 30 pages, and I did it. It got real popular. So I did a second one that got even more popular. And then um, what happened was I got that in the hands of some people at Lonely Planet, and I was like, oh, I want to write travel books. So... Um, I ended up doing um, Ireland for Lonely Planet. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, the Western Europe and Europe on a shoestring chapters for the Ireland chapters for those books, rather. And then um, I was like, oh, I'm tired of you know doing zines, so I wanted to get a book deal. So I found a book deal on Craigslist. Mm -hmm. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> you can find anything on Craigslist. Everything <laughs> on Craigslist. You can get married, you can get furniture, you can find a house, and then anything. divorce lawyer, you know, just the logical All, all steps. the same page, probably. Misconnections, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So, so at what point did you know? Because San Francisco is an expensive city and Absolutely. getting way more expensive as we're speaking. Right. Um, so how did you manage to find the places that you can really find some great stuff uh, or great opportunities to get free wine and cheese? Right. Know, all these great big parties. When did you find tapping into that and going, you know, I should write a book about that? Um, I don't know. I mean, I just kind of, like I said, everybody I knew was broke and we just would, if we wanted to go out, we'd find a place that was cheap. And so a lot of stuff was like, you know, from people I knew, they told me stuff or just exploring on the internet and a lot of just walking around. I mean, it's a small city. It's easy to get around. Yeah, so, totally. And I like to wander. So I found all these strange little places. And do you remember one of your first strange places that you found that you went, oh my God, this is really good? Well, you know what? Actually, my friend, a good friend of mine, uh, she's a local photographer. Her name is Victoria Smith. And she's like a, a rock photographer. She's like, her, she's get paid to like fly around and take photos of rock stars. Uh -huh. And so um, I was living in like the Tender Knob area. And uh, so was she. And she showed me uh, Non and Curry back in like. Oh, yeah. And so the one in the Tenderloin, it was like more in the Tenderloin than it is now. Um, and so she showed me that, and I was like, oh, this place is cool. And then, she, and I, then I found a couple other places, and I was like, I can make a little zine out of this. And I did. And you did. Yeah. And there's some, well, that's one of my favorite places, too. I love Non and Curry. Yeah, I love, absolutely. I love, uh, we were just talking about, um, before the show, the taco trucks. And forgive me if I'm saying it wrong, I'm most likely I'm La Toyones, I think, I or think something. I so. think Like three bucks for two soft so tacos. Good. Oh, my God. There, there's also a place, um, there's a great place at... Uh, like 21st, just past Folsom. Um, I can't think of what street it is. Uh, 
anyways, but it's like it's called El Canchania, I think, and they had like dollar fifty tacos, and like, they they sell all kinds of shit. Like they have like eyeball tacos and <laughs> no way. Yeah, I'm not messing with eyeball tacos personally. You're, but they have eyeball tacos. Eyeball tacos. Okay, where did you say I should have brought is, you one. I I'm, feel like that's I'm, your thing. That's sweet. That would have been really nice. <laughs> I've never received eyeball tacos. Okay, <laughs> so so okay. I, I'm still thinking about eyeballs. So the next thing you make this book. Okay, and then the economy tanks, and mm-hmm. now everybody's like, where's that book again? Yeah, yeah. Um, I say this kind of jokingly, but like everyone's like riding my coattails. I mean, I've been doing this thing for like five years, this whole broke-ass Stewart thing. And um, all of a sudden, in the past couple months, um, it's becoming like like every few days, somebody adds, tries to like link, you know, somebody links to my, my uh, website, uh, which happens to be <laughs> brokeassstewart.com. Um, <laughs> oh, is a salesman. Oh, I uh, dropped mine. Here we go. Wait a minute. And it says, you are young, young broke, broke, and, and beautiful. beautiful. Very good. Like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That was a very good shot. Um, so, yeah. So, like, now, like, like every few days, somebody, like, links to my, my website. Be like, oh, I've got a new uh, unemployment blog. Or I've got a new, uh, you know, like, how to be laid off or whatever. And so, I was like, oh, yeah, I've been doing this for a while. So, it's funny how seeing how things come around, you know. Mm-hmm. Do you think that people have a hard time uh, now that they're getting less money to really enjoy the city, or can you really enjoy the city with little money? Well, I mean, the whole message behind what I do is like, you know, there's it's more than just go here, this is cheap, go there, this is cheap. I mean, part of it's like the, it's like little stories that are anecdotal. It's like I was at this one place and this random crazy thing happened. But it's also the message is like, you know, your life is cool no matter what you make and no matter what you have, and like um, you don't need expensive shit. You know, you don't need. It's kind of like anti-consumerist in a way, in, in a very big way. And mm-hmm. say so you don't need to buy, like for example, my New York book. I mean, I have a whole rant about and, and Canal Street in New York. That's oh, yeah. where you buy all the fake bags. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, first of all, what do you need a Louis Vuitton bag for? And certainly, what the fuck do you need a fake Louis Vuitton bag for that was made by sweatshop labor of children? You know, it's like ridiculous. So the whole like my whole ideology is against all that. So yeah, you can have an amazing time in mm-hmm. this in this city in any city without lots of money. It's all it's all in how you enjoy the city. So I'm going to ask you for some of your favorite. I was going to say top 10, but I don't want you to have to list them. But just throw out a few things that you like when I say shopping for clothes. Is there any place that you like um, to go for clothes? I mean, I've, I've been, ever since I started dressing myself, uh, like <laughs> last year. Um, no, um, like probably like, you know, sixth or seventh grade, I've, I've started shopping at thrift stores. So I wear a lot of secondhand clothes. Mm-hmm. Like um, Buffalo Exchange? Yeah, or, or like, you know, Community Thrift Store in Valencia. Uh, Mission Thrift. I mean, I, I like thrift store shopping, especially in places that are random that aren't San Francisco, so you can like find really great stuff that hasn't been picked through. Mm-hmm. But in the city, I shop at yeah, any secondhand place or um, 99 cent stores. And there's one great place that's a, a used clothing store that sells a clothes by the pound. Yeah, yeah, it's called uh, Clothes Contact. It's oh, like, okay. <laughs> in the, like 16th in Valencia, about there. Very cool, very cool. So uh, when I say food, if I wanted a pizza, where's your favorite pizza place in the city? Oh, I've been spoiled after living in New York. I mean, there's good pizza in San Francisco, but it's not the same. It's like getting a burrito out there. It's like, uh. uh but, it, you know, there's a good slice. My favorite slice in the city, just a slice, mm-hmm. I'd have to say is Golden Boy Pizza in, um, oh, yeah. in North Beach. Golden Boy is so good. But um, I think my favorite pie is... Uh, Little Star, and that's not broadcast at all, but it's oh my so God. good. It's is so it a good. deep dish? Are we talking Chicago? Hell, like, yeah, Hell yeah, deep dish. It's getting, if you haven't been there, it's amazing. Weight can get kind of long sometimes, Yeah. but it's worth it. It's really worth it. You'll roll out of it. You'll fall asleep at the table. It's so much to digest. I did, actually. No. <laughs> oh, that's good. That was you? That was me. <laughs> so you lived for a while in Brooklyn Yeah. while you were writing the book. On, the New York book, yeah. Right, with the long title. Yeah. Okay. And how did you like Brooklyn as opposed um, to New York? I, you know, I love New York. I spent a lot of time out there growing up. Um, mm-hmm. My dad's from New York. But um, it's it's not home. I mean, this is my home. San Francisco has been my home, and I've made it my home. Um, I said home a lot of times right there. That's okay. Why, <laughs> why is it your home? Why, Who why said it was it? my home? Um, <laughs> uh, you know, it's just because I feel like this is the right place for me. I mean, I love Brooklyn. I, I would live there again. I'd live in New York again if I was rich, I think. It's a hard city to be broken, harder, because, you know, for example, we have rent control here in this city. Mm-hmm. They don't really have that in New York. They have, like, in all five boroughs, like, 50,000 rent control units, and that's it. Mm-hmm. Which is, like, you know, not even, like, 14th Street and below in Manhattan. So. And is New York um, more expensive than San Francisco to live if you have a good apartment over there? Is it um, yeah, if you want to live in the city, if you want to live in Manhattan, it's ridiculous. Oh, 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 oh
Hold that boogie man, there that boogie man Take it, 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 take it,